Buenos Aires, amigos, amigas from Ahihi here in the Lakeside area. Um, we're here at uh, Olivia's Restaurant. It's a traditional Mexican restaurant. Steps outside the Ahihi Plaza. And uh, I'm here with Dan and his wife, Sylvia. And they're going to talk a little bit about a recent trip they made to El Salvador. But I want to mention also that Dan and Sylvia... Since they've been here in Mexico, they've been helping out these Mexican communities and people here, and they are really making a difference here uh, in Mexico, helping other residents here. And uh, well, they're going to talk first about their trip to El Salvador. El Salvador. So who wants to go first? I'll start first, Chris. Thank you okay. for the introduction. Okay. Uh, recently, we had went and visited El Salvador from. Uh, Mexico to El Salvador and we just wanted to say El Salvador is a very lush and beautiful place The people there are excellent uh, You will need a bit more Spanish when you go there because it's predominantly that's the predominant language And there's really not much English being spoke there at this time But El Salvador now is very safe very safe and it's been the safest lately than has been in years uh, It's a good place to visit uh, we went from uh, Guadalajara to Mexico City to El Salvador and landed in Cel Salvador, which is the capital. It's about 1.2 million people in the capital. And uh, Santa Ana, the second largest city, is about 400,000 people. And uh, it's about 6 million population total. So uh, the infrastructure and the roads are very good. They have a lot of restaurants. They have malls, especially in San Salvador and Santa Ana. So if you're looking to visit somewhere, uh, that's a, about a four hour flight from uh, Mexico City, Guadalajara to San El Salvador, I would recommend visiting there. Uh, now that it's safe, a lot more people are coming in and they're looking to bring in more investment into the country. Also, you need to have a pupusa, which uh -huh. is similar to the tacos in Mexico. Yeah, they're delicious. Uh, in Mexico, you have, could have tacos for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. In El Salvador, a pupusa, which is kind of like a gordita, stuffed with different cheeses and meats. It's about 25 cents American if you buy it on the street. And uh, that's a main staple of that of food they have there. Very uh, popular. Very popular. <laughs> so we recommend you visiting uh, El Salvador. And uh, it was a nice trip. Uh, and Sylvia has been there before. So she was talking about the beaches. Yeah. beaches. Yes, go ahead and talk uh, I was there three years three years ago, and I visited one of the beaches. And the beach had black sand, I guess volcano uh, ash from the uh, volcanoes, uh, and then the water splashed into natural pools that filled the water. And it's wonderful to swim there. It's uh, very safe. I do recommend if anyone wants to do surfing to go down that way because there's a lot of surfing uh, opportunities down that way. So wow, you've been there before, and now you guys went back. Um, I want to ask you about the flight. You mentioned it's about a four-hour flight, but that you were telling me it includes like a layover. Well, the the flight yeah. time is actually a total of four hours, but when you go to Guadalajara, it's about an hour and a half to Mexico City, and then at Mexico City, it's about a two-hour and a half flight from there. But of course, you do have layovers in between and I recommend that if you have a layover for even two hours or more two and a half hours it's better because you'll have time to have lunch you'll have time to find your flights you'll have time to go through all the immigration process so having that few hours in between I believe that's a plus it'll give you uh, enough time to make sure you can get everything done because you do have to go through the immigration process and everything so that would be a great help yeah and I, I, I do, whenever I travel back and forth to Mexico, I don't like to be rushing around like in 45 right. minutes. I got to exactly. catch the next flight. It's tough. Because I did that before, and it can be, yeah, so, and uh, I want to say thanks. But um, also, any more you want to mention about your trip to El Salvador? Yeah, we had a great time. We met wonderful people, people very warm and friendly. Uh, we had a great time warm country, <laughs> um, a very tropical country, and we enjoy everything, the restaurants, the coffee shops, uh, they had giant malls, 
uh, with all American uh, stores. So yeah, if you ever consider going down that way, it's worth the while. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we're in five minutes, and that was great information helping me. Um, but you guys want to talk about your work for Love in Action and that you're doing for the orphanage there? Sure. Uh, we both volunteer Love in Action, uh, the Girls Orphanage in Chicago. Uh, we teach pottery and we've been doing it for six months already. Uh, it's a wonderful uh, opportunity for us to uh, lo love on the girls and spend time with them and get to know them. Uh, it takes three weeks to complete a project, so there's a lot of time uh, 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 dedicated there. We have to go twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays. And Love in Action at this time uh, is really looking for a lot of volunteers that have a lot of that have skills to share, and they're trying to do programs where they have um, uh, like programs that are available after school, where the girls they could get busy once they're done with the homework. That way they, they can learn different skills. So if you have a skill that you want to pass over to the girls, call Love and Action and I'm sure they'll be able to help you. Okay. Dance also with helps. Love and Action, the girls range from about 8 to 18 years old. Some of the girls have been there since they're like 14 months old. Uh, they've been there for about 30 years, the program. Uh, they are looking for volunteers and the only requirements are there's a short form to fill out on what you would like to do there. And then there's another form, which is a criminal background check, which is five US, five dollars US or 100 pesos, which can be done in the Chapala Plaza. There's a place you walk in, it takes just a few minutes. Uh, you need to bring your identification with you, uh, bring your passport, uh, bring your temporary or permanent uh, visa with you. They'll check everything in the computer and they'll give you a certificate that clears the criminal background check. So as far as the, those are all the only requirements, uh, any skills, art skills, dancing, teaching, uh, doing work on the grounds, there's a big campus there, there's trees, there's grass, so they're looking for different people to do different things also to help the orphanage. One other side note is in the American Legion, there's an actual uh, box there, a, a collection box for food. So if you ever visit the American Legion, see that box they're looking for dry goods and beans and toothpaste and different things it's outlined there what they need drop something in there to help them out because it is 20 girls they're taken care of so they're always looking for volunteers but also also looking for financial assistance so that's love in action they're located in chapala uh, and it's an orphanage uh, also they started a new program that when the girls were 18 years old they would have to leave. That means they'd have to go back out into the community. Now they have a dorm there they're setting up and they're looking for uh, donations of furniture and financial donations that now the girls at 18 can go out to work and come back there to stay. So now they have a safe place to come back to that's supervised and they don't have to be worried that now they're on their own out on the street. So that's a great program too. Uh, the American Legion also is a uh, sponsor of Love in Action. And also there's Mama Cleo's, which is a boys orphanage, which is about 20 boys, located in San Antonio. And they're also looking for volunteers and for donations. They've been there for many years too, taking care of the boys. So thank you for your time for that. And any way you could support Mama Cleo's and Love in Action would be greatly appreciated. Okay, wow, it's a lot of help. Uh, they need a lot of help down there. Uh, and I know that you guys have been doing a lot. Um, what about other uh, financial contributions as well? Yes, they do accept financial. If you can't volunteer physically, then yes, they do accept uh, financial help. There is a website they have uh, uh, that uh, Chris is going to post. And, um, right, we're, we're going to post it in the thumbnail picture. Yeah. So yes, all the information. To the yeah. website or call Emmanuel. He is the... Uh, He's the uh, program director there, uh, administrator. His mom is actually the director there. Uh -huh. But you could contact Emmanuel directly or go on the website and you could ask them, hey, I really can't volunteer. I'm not up to that, but I could drop food off. I could drop school bags off or clothes. I could close off or I could give a financial contribution to help take care of the girls. Yeah. 
Okay, yeah, that sounds great. Now, I, I made a financial contribution. Yes, thank but, you, Chris. Uh, yeah, but you know what? If somebody ever sees me around and they need me to drop off something, I have a car, uh, I'll throw stuff in my trunk, and I'll take it down there personally. Well, that would be appreciated. You know, uh, I'll do that. If anybody ever sees me, you know, that, I'll do that. You guys send people. Give me some numbers if you need me to do it. I'll, I'll that, that would be my great. Trunk. Yeah. Yeah. And and one note on the pottery, all the pottery that the girls make, we sell that pottery at the American Legion and the Lake Chapala Society, and the money that is made from that pottery, we continue to buy more clay. Right. And, with, and Chris just had given us a donation, and we had raised some money selling at Lake Chapala and the American Legion, and Monday we're doing a big order of clay, which will last us for the year. But donations are accepted for the pottery at any time because that keeps the program running. Yes. And then they, once again, if someone ever sees me and they need a ride, they get my phone number. They say, hey, can you show me where it's at? If they don't know, I'll take Oh, that would be here. great. I'll take them down there and show them where it's at. It's very easy to get there. I'm it blessed. is very easy to get there. Not far from Soriana's. It's yeah. not far from Soriana's. I think we have the location on the card that we're going to Yes, on the card will be the website. A manual's phone number and the address. Yeah. So thank you for that, Chris. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, you got you two are really mm -hmm. doing a lot there. Not only you guys were also with the children's art program and uh, for a long time and uh, did a lot over there, and you're really making a difference. Not just in uh, he can be a difference, but also in other places in Lakeside. So I want to say thank you very much, both of you, for your help. You're welcome. And thanks for doing this interview. It gives people information. You're it's really adios. You're welcome. Okay. Adios. Okay, adios. <laughs> adios.